Hey, I'm Nick and I've mentioned before how it's important to use your days as a period to work really hard on a set of steps that you've laid out and thought about that are needed in order to reach your goal. But today I actually want to talk about how to find those steps that you need with more than just a quick plan during the night. But most importantly, I've put the days as your actual time to be working the hardest and at the time to be thinking of new ideas for a goal as that is when you are freshest as I've mentioned before at the start of your day is when you have the most energy you're going to have for the whole day. It is your priority to use that first spike of energy to tackle the most important tasks or projects that are needed in order to reach your goal. In fact the Worst way to go about this is using the start of your day dreamy about what you're going to do. But when it actually comes to thinking about the tasks of what is needed, most of the time since it's the day and you're going to be proceeding that with actually doing it, you're able to limit yourself a lot more than you would if you are tired at the end of the night and you're more dreaming about what needs to be done as especially if you've woken up a bit more tired than usual then that is going to affect your whole day which is why you need to be planning at night so that as soon as you wake up you're not affected by reasoning that is impaired by your sleep you are able to tackle the most important thing that is on the list to do and so what is almost equally as important as actually creating that plan as the last thing to do for your day having somewhere in between that the actual period to brainstorm and get your ideas out means that you are able to do that but in a large large batch and it makes it a lot easier to then figure out a plan which is very useful if you're tired by the end of the day and then even if you're really successful and you've gone through your whole plan at the start of your day, you'll still have something to go off of. In fact, in general, brainstorming and getting your ideas out somehow should be almost a habit for you in order to further define what your goal is and to not leave it as a dream. So now that I've hyped it out, how do you actually brainstorm effectively? And it comes down to two things. The first one is having no, which is something that I've mentioned a lot for all the other productivity tips to not have any distractions or chores or responsibilities that need to be done or completed means that you're able to focus a much larger percent of your brain capacity on the actual task at hand, which at this point is brainstorming. And the second thing is that you just need to relax and not even be thinking about the next step that you're going to do. It needs to be vast and inclusive of all areas of how these tips could help with your actual goal, as that should be the thing in your head at the moment, not the next step to it, but how everything relates to it in general. But this will of course take practice and a lot of the time you're going to get these spikes of this is something I can do just randomly. And I've mentioned before how it's important to actually write those things down instead of trying to balance remembering that with having the actual task that you were doing at that moment still needing, still needing to be done. And I've looked into it in depth before but mainly if you just have some system whether on your phone or on an actual notepad to be running down these random spikes and random ideas then you are set to be able to have proper brainstorming when it's actually needed and are able to form a proper plan at the end of your day so that the next day you can tackle whatever task that needs to be get done with proper work and that deep work that we've been talking about. But that's it for today. However, if you're still interested in learning more about anything to do with productivity tips or tricks, I've now started one-on-one -on -one coaching, which you can book a call for using the link in the description below. But until then, I'll see you later.